Hi guys, so today I'm going to be um, teaching you how to grow some buckeyes from seed. This is a yellow buckeye. Um, you can tell by the um, seed coat, it doesn't have spines on it. So these are very poisonous, so you don't want to use a cutting board. I'm just using a knife, um, and make sure you have gloves on. And you just want to kind of cut around it. So I just shook trees with this on it. As long as they're turning uh, a little bit brown, they should be fine. But one thing about the seed, oh my God, look at that. That's four in there, in that one. These are massive, by the way. Um, so that's four seeds in one. And these seeds are gorgeous. They look so great. Uh, I wish I would focus, but like. Um, so it usually does not have four in it. That's insane. But like, um, it usually has one or two. Some of the bigger ones will have multiple. Oh, I dropped one on accident. Okay. So, just collect your seeds like this, and you want to do this fast because these do these seeds will break down. Um, and just make sure you wash your hands after this. I would highly recommend using gloves. So, just kind of rip it in half. There's three in there. That's pretty nice. These are like, the texture on these is amazing. Not the edibility texture, but like, um, just, it looks like marbled wood. It looks so nice. And I got a lot of these. I just shook some trees. They should be hanging right now in the fall. And you just kind of dig in a little bit with the knife. And then... Um, just force it apart in half and just make sure not to cut any of the seeds. There we go, another three. So I'm going to actually have a lot more seeds than I thought. And you can keep these. Uh, they're supposed to bring you good luck, apparently. Um, it's very Ohioan. It's our state tree, the Buckeye. So, and they have really beautiful flower clusters, and the foliage is really nice, too. But squirrels are, like, the only thing that can eat them, so that's pretty nice. Um, you won't have, like, deer, from what I've heard, coming to eat them, and stuff like that. Because these are very poisonous. They look like chestnuts, but they are definitely, definitely not. Do not eat these. Every part of this tree is poisonous, from what I've heard. Ooh, this is a big one. Let's get this open. Ooh, three, maybe four in there. There's one. We're going to have like at least 20 seeds probably. And it looks like three, this one. And why I'm doing this so fast is I just need to get these in stratification. Um, very f quickly because these seeds do have a very small, um, like, uh, time that they are viable. So here we go. Full bag of them. There's a lot in there. As you can see, it's just a doggy bag. Um, but let's get these in some stratification stuff. And you just need to stratify these for three to four months. And that should be about it. And you don't, if you don't want to grow these, um, just keep them as a keepsake. They're really cool. You can give them to people. Um, and I just really love them. So let's just get these in a bag in our fridge, and we'll see how it goes from so there. As you can see here, guys, I have 21 seeds. And I've actually just decided um, that I don't have enough space in my basement to um, grow these in throughout the winter. So I'm just going to fall sow these. So I'm just going to stick them straight in here. Um, this is just a pot with a lot of um, topsoil in it. Space them about um, probably two inches apart. And there's not really an orientation. I've never really grown these before, but um, or at least from seed. I have grown these before. Um, but that's pretty much it. 
Some of these will be really big. Don't worry about that. They should all, or mostly, at least um, germinate reliably. And um, so there we go. Uh, I do have five left. I might um, get a little pot to go there. I might get a bigger one. That's pretty much it. Um, so just let me know if you guys try this. Um, if you do find some buckeyes on the ground or on some trees, just shake them. These are really easy to grow, and they're, they look really, really pretty. So have a good one, and remember to grow native. I'll probably do an update on these uh, in a couple months. Okay, bye. Okay, guys, and here we are um, a couple months later. So these were sown September 24th. It is now April, early April. And these yellow buckeyes are doing great. So I didn't even notice these. These just came up really fast. Um, buckeyes usually leaf out very early. Um, so you can see here the palmate leaves. It has They have five, usually five, sometimes more. Um, and they can come in a, a lot of different colors. Usually they're this color, like reddish green. But sometimes they're very bright red. I think that's my profile picture. Uh, is a yellow buckeye. There's a little weed in there. But um, so yeah, it's not that hard. And the roots are probably very long. I'm sure they have a tap root. I don't see any sticking out. Oh, there's one. Right there. Yeah. So I need to get these guys potted up and separated. So the best way to do that is just. Um, Take the whole thing, empty it out, and then use a hose to get all the dirt off. And you want to keep the roots um, wet. Make sure you keep the roots wet. And it's really that easy. Um, all you have to do is stratify. Just leave it out. Um, I think I put, let's see, 21 in here. So some haven't sprouted yet. Some probably just have a root. Um, but that's fine. You can pot it up anytime in there. So yeah, and it's pretty easy. So good luck growing, and remember to grow native. Have a good one.